Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Knocking out as many as I can today before I gotta go to the bread and butter job this afternoon. Just wanna get it done. I don't know why I get so behind every month. Well, I know why, because I have horrible time management skills and I will be the first person to admit that. And the universe has a way of throwing crap at me when I really don't want it to. A lot. Like all the time. But it is what it is. That, and I've, I've been energetically struggling the last couple of days. I I can't force the messages, guys, and I won't. I won't force the universe to give me a message because then the universe gives me a headache, and the headaches are debilitating. So as long as the universe and I are in congruent agreement that um, I'm not going to force it to give me messages, and it's not going to give me a migraine, we're good. So far, we're doing good today. All right. Who's next? Taurus, you're up. <clears throat> oh, come on. This reading will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. Jeffrey will to do whatever you choose to do with his message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I am just reading cards. If it does re not resonate, that is okay too. It might not. It's general. There is no way that a reading is going to resonate with every person of that zodiac sun sign. There's no way. So check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. And just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. Meaning... This could be playing out right now. It could have played out a while back. It could play out later. The cards are just throwing out messages. That's all they're doing. And they're not wanting to shuffle on top of that. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of Crosswatcher. And dear Crosswatchers are always welcome here too. At the Fire Sign Tarot Table. And just another quick reminder... If it isn't your story, it isn't your story. Don't take with you what does not belong to you. Leave it behind. Come on. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They're really not wanting to shuffle today. Why are you here, Taurus? Empress reversed. Well, that worked out well. Could be disconnecting with someone you have children with. Could be a breakdown in the family. Could just be a situation that was not meant to grow. Or birth anything. Throw a clarifier on it in a minute if the other cards dictate that we do so. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Four of cups. Somebody, wow, is ignoring a cup. Looking so hard at the coulda, woulda, shoulda, didn't. That you're not looking up at what someone or something is trying to hand you. So... That's either what you feel the other person is doing, or that's what you're doing. What do you think of the person you're dealing with? Oh, temperance. You see them as a patient person. Could be a Sagittarius. 
I think you relate well together. Communicate well. Things flow well between you. I like it. That's positive vibes. A rare rainbow in the darkness. I don't know why I just thought of that. I don't know why that popped into my head. A rare rainbow in the darkness. Because, you know, light is required for rainbows. So, just throwing that out there. What do you want from them? Princess of Swords reversed. A communication cut off. Huh, what? Taurus, how do they feel about you? The sun could be a Leo. Would they feel the deep, powerful connection? You could be the sunshine in their life. You could be their sun in the darkness. That brings the rainbows. Wow. Wow. Okay. Definitely a connection there. Mutually felt. What do they think of you? Seven of Wands. Now we're making sense. Hmm. The enemies you don't see. Internal struggles. I think you're battling something internally. What do they want from you? Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. That's beautiful. That's the fairy tale ending. More rainbows. More rainbows. There's rainbows. There's sunshine and rainbows, guys. Sunshine and rainbows. Okay. Very curious. It's the obstacle. Ace of Cups. There's that cup. The start over. The obstacle is the do over. Internal struggles, self love, possibly. Dang. Taurus. It's going to be a long one. Wow.
potential resolution. Hair fit reversed. Wow, and I thought Gemini was going to make me cry today. Okay, let's get some clarity before I say anything else. We're getting some clarity. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for... Our Taurus friends, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October Now these aren't wanting to shuffle. You know what this is saying? This may have to be my last reading for the day if the cards don't want to shuffle. lovers. Deep connection could be a Gemini. They're both cards of Gemini. Well, the Empress is Gemini or Taurus, but neither here nor there. Yeah, it set off the alarm in my head too. Just bear with it. You're connected. You're bound. It's felt mutually. You still feel it, but it's not growing. You're in separation. Why are you in separation? If you bring sunshine and rainbows into each other's worlds, why are we in separation? Why is the Four of Cups here? Ace of Pentacles, an old seed planted long ago. Hmm. You guys have been in separation for a while. Some of you. Well, oh, yeah, Mercury Retrograde is right around the corner. So. <laughs> Wait, isn't it already started? Wait, what? I'm going to have to look that up later. Maybe that's what's going on right now. Wait. i, I got to look that up. No, I think it's starting on like the 9th. Anyway. Anyway, this... <sighs> Tis the season, I guess. Somebody's ignoring a cup, a seed planted long ago. You feel like they ignored the cup that you tried to hand them?
temperance reversed caused negative energy flow that's what happened that's what happened but they do bring so much sunshine into your world why does temperance up right here Four of Swords reversed, World reversed, on top of Temperance, Restless Energy, a comeback around, Battling Inner Demons. Dang, Taurus, dang. Rainbows in the dark. One more. I'm now taking twenty cards. The wheel reversed, the world reversed, and the wheel reversed, four of swords reversed, somebody's getting restless. The very thought of them makes you restless. But it's a rainbow in the dark. Why is the Princess of Swords reversed here? Four of Cups reversed. You're not speaking. You've been in separation for a while. You want to try giving him the cup again. If you were the one ignoring the cup, you're not going to ignore the cup anymore. You, you want them to try to offer you a cup again. If you were the one being ignored, you want to try giving them a cup again. But you're in separation. You're not speaking. That's the problem. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Seven of Cups. Reverse. There's confusion. You <laughs> it's eight cups. No. Eleven, two, two cups, two cups reversed. Confusion. Confusion. Oh my gosh, Taurus. I thought Gemini sent me down a rabbit hole this morning. The rabbit hole just keeps getting deeper. Karma. You at the very least want closure. You want to resurrect the dead. And... Why is the sun here? Nine 
Ten of Swords. How they feel about you. Powerful connection. You brought sunshine. You brought sunshine into a dark, dark world. Rainbows in the dark. Rainbows in the dark. Six of Wands reversed, but it wasn't victorious. It just didn't happen. You didn't make it through the battle. It just didn't grow. She'd planted long ago. You, wow. This is like going to be the retrograde story of, of the season, I'm sure. Oh. Why is Seven Wands here for Taurus? What the other person thinks of them. Three of Cups. Internal struggles, inner demons. Three of Cups could have been getting together with friends a lot and partying, having a good time. Three cups, three cups, the three cups of inner struggle, the couldas, the wouldas, the shouldas, or the, yeah, I did it, no, I probably shouldn't have done it, but I can't take it back nows. What are your cups full of? One more on that. You want to talk? Tower. Internal struggles. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, didn't. Shouldn't have, coulda's. Can't take it back nows. Tower. They think this is doomed. They think it's already doomed. Too much has happened. Too much came coming down with that tower. Too much came coming down with the tower. Three Cups of Temptation. Why is Ten of Cups here? For what the other person wants, Taurus, for Taurus, with Taurus. Ten cups, seven wands reversed, and a knight of pentacles. The 
We want 10 cups. They want to bring back the pentacle. I want to start over. Again, you're mirroring each other. But so much has happened. They want you to defeat your demons. But so much has happened. You brought sunshine into each other's lives. You reach others rainbows in the dark. Why is the Ace of Cups here for the obstacle? Knight of Swords. <sighs> Nine of Pentacles. Okay. The obstacle in this connection, somebody had to love themselves enough to emotionally withdraw. As to not go on that path of self-destruction with the other person. Somebody had to be independent and free of it. And the obstacle here is someone finding the truth in that. The obstacle is the communication. Here's the upside down page down here. Here's the upright prince up here. It's having that conversation. Knowing what to say. How to tell the truth, basically. I think when the sunshine left somebody's world and when the tower fell, it was just, it only made a bad situation worse. Wow. Why is the Hierophant reversed here for the possible resolution? Ten Pentacles. Oh, wow. Empress reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, Ace of Swords in the upright, and Ten Pentacles on top of a Hierophant reversed. Not right now. I don't want to say it's hopeless. But y'all got some self-work you need to do. Y'all don't need to be concentrating on a do-over right now. If that makes any sense to anybody. Allow the cup to be empty. Allow the seed to stay in the ground, as hard as that may be. Why the Ace of Swords?
Eight of Pentacles reversed. Pardon me. More self worth issues. I keep hearing it wasn't you, it was me. It wasn't you, it was me. Until that it wasn't you, it was me conversation happens, that seed's got to stay in the ground. Wow. Okay. Outcome. Justice. The playing field will be level. Just not right now. Let's get some advice. This is very heavy and this is very deep. Eight of Cups in the reverse, Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow, okay. The return and the coming in out of the cold can only happen when someone is ready to communicate the truth. So, until one or the both of you now, somebody has to be ready to say it, and somebody has to be ready to handle it. So until you get to that time and pass, won't happen. Just won't happen. Three of Swords, Upright, Hanged Man in the Reverse. The heartbreak only lasts as long as you allow yourself to be hung up on something. Until you cut yourself down out of the gallows, it's still going to hurt. So take those three little swords out of your heart. Boop, 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 and take one of them and cut your feet out of the gallows. Because that's really the only way you get through this. Don't let it eat away at you. The hermit in the reverse and strengthen the upright. Trust the journey. And I know that is a hard piece of advice for me to give. And it's probably hard to hear. But you have to trust the journey. This is a path you were meant to go down. I don't know why. It's not my path. They're not my shoes. They probably wouldn't fit anyway. I actually have very small feet. Trust the journey. The lion isn't going to bite your head off. And the lady isn't going to stab you in the back. You have to trust the journey. You have to find the inner light. And trust your journey. Not going to say it again. Everything happens for a reason. Nothing happens by accident. Even the painful stuff. And especially the stuff that teaches you things, Taurus. Okay. This has been your October reading. Let me know what happens because I'm curious. This is like going to be the retrograde story of the season. 
bless you friends thanks for coming by thanks for spending 36 minutes with me and listening to me babble I hope it helps for what it's worth be back in a couple of weeks for your retrograde slash Halloween special read we can call it a mid-October whatever Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Namaste, friends. Catch you later.